Wow. I'm at Guitar Showcase, Campbell, California. They have a lot of stuff here. They got a Bo Diddley Gretsch square guitar up there. A rectangle. Oh, yeah. That's wild. Yeah, I remember that. Music therapy lads. Yo, hey, dudes and dudettes. <laughs> <laughs> they got the 63 pre CDS, of course, Music Master. Single pickup barrel bridge, like a funky, mm -hmm. funky telly or something. That's a weird, that's a weird looking guitar. Marilyn cool Monroe too. guitar like, back there. Yeah, the Marilyn Monroe. Some wild, wild stuff in here. Here's a, they're calling it a Les Paul copy, but I guess it's a, it's a fake. But it's going for nine ninety five. so I wonder who made that. I wonder how good or bad it is. It's really cool. It looks pretty, pretty Looks pretty nice. Cool, yeah. All these box and record box, box and record boxes and super arms. Wow, it's crazy, look man. This, look at this this fender right here. With all the gold parts and the scrolling on the pick guard. Mm -hmm. That's I guess it's a 94, so I guess it's a 40th anniversary or something. My first Strat was a 45th anniversary. Plus Deluxe that I ordered from Gelb. You've never been there either, right, in Redwood City? No. No. They recently combined with um, the Hate Ashbury music store. Shut down. Oh, on Hay Street? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I used to go there. Probably know, know that one. Yeah. I used to go there, yeah. <laughs> Look at this one, 1957. 57 Strat. Owned by Played Ross by Valerie. Ross Valerie. Journey. Journey. 25K. Look at a fretboard. <laughs> I love that. That's real road worn, people. <laughs> That's played ward. Worn aluminum Stratocaster. What? Fender custom. Yeah, I was aluminum. looking at that. That's weird. Swap shop. That's pretty wild. On consignment. Yeah, this one's got some sick. Like, look at the, look at the fretboard, the burl on it. It's almost like the scrolling. It's so cool. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I've known about this place for, for literally for probably twenty something years, and I've never been here. Cause I didn't, Finally. cause I didn't live in the area, <laughs> you know. Damn, this is Tommy Castro, hand signed seventy three, thin line telly. That's pretty wild, man. That's cool. I remember Tommy Castro. Yeah. Love the pinup sticker on the bottom there. And it's got like those humbucker style. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah, those are what I like. Too. I would buy it. Out of all these, I'd buy that one. You'd just buy that one? Yeah, you know why? Because it's just so freaking unique. 73, thin line. Played known by Castro. And the frets still look good. The Tommy frets. Castro. Tommy, Make man. sure you oh, get yeah. that straight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. 
<laughs> yeah, lefty. Just like the just like the man himself. I was watching a really cool series. If you haven't seen it yet, it's worth just signing up for the free one week. Um, it's on Hulu. Disney it's, Plus. Uh, no, I, it's on Hulu. I have Hulu. McCartney. We have, McCartney have, one two three or what is it called? I don't know. I think I, it's called Mark McCart McCart. Yeah, I think it's called McCartney three two one, and it's a show about he talks all about you know the early writing of all the Beatles tunes and. Mm -hmm. how it's all in here he doesn't even know how to read and write music still you know and it's incredible what he comes up with not knowing any musical like he knows music he just doesn't know it's written down <laughs> and that's so cool so so cool hearing him talk with this i forget the name of the guy but he's like this big time producer guy out in la who owns and lives in houdini's house in the la hill somewhere oh wow yeah well look at some of those old tweet apps man yeah. yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. You guys that are watching this, you're going to have to watch this video Five several Five times to see everything that's here, man. I love that Gibson, too. Look at that color. That is cool. It's a lot of stuff here. Limited edition. Oh, fucking 98. Is that what it says? That middle one? Or 88. I can't read. It looks like it says 1988 custom. You're talking about the red one. Yeah, the the kind of like tomato soup color. 88. I love that car. It's got EMGs in it. <laughs> Do you see that? Yeah. That's trippy. Yeah, it's 88. It's totally bound neck and headstock. Bodies double bound. That's sweet. I dig that. That one too. I'd buy that one. <laughs> buy five grand to throw away. When I get to But you know, if anyone's looking to buy some killer gear at a probably decent kind of price call these guys because they're moving from this to the other building next door and they got to get rid of some stuff and so they're discounting stuff definitely selling things at a discount look at this old box base too i mean that hoffner of course hoffner but four five hundred bucks it's pretty wild Crypto Wild. Awesome. Yeah, and they got some head. cool lamps. 1600 bucks used. Yeah. You were looking at the silver tone, right? I was just looking at it because it's old and I, I dig all this old crap. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it's so cool, man. I wonder what it sounds like. Uh, I'm sure it sounds great. Yeah. I mean, it, it has, has reverb, it has tremolo. See these these amps are known for the for the for the tremolo. Oh, it really. sounds so good. Design that Sarah uh, Silverton. Two thousand something era. Between two thousand and five and two thousand and ten I have a Vox AC. Head with CC2. cab. It's five hundred for the head and the cab. Yeah, I know, I can't believe it. I almost want to buy that. It's Five just, it's for almost, both? It's almost worth buying just as a display. <laughs> just to have in your room to look at. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at that the history that that must have 500 bucks that that's a, that's a good deal man crazy that's a good deal is that a dr yeah check that out yeah that, that is killer right there yeah that DR right there that is you don't see those around yeah the Harmony Rocket. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. Look at that thing. What year that is. That doesn't really say. Anyway, 900 bucks. It's gotta be old. Look at the tuning pegs on that thing. Yeah. I don't think they relic guitars like that, do they? <laughs> but the pick guard looks pretty new. Wow, so much stuff. Yeah, right? Oh, look at look at that. Oh, that's hilarious, yeah. That's strat. I've heard of guitars like that, yeah. <laughs> that's a custom. What, who, who, who made that? Look at where the, uh, the outfit jacket is. <laughs> it's, all, it's just, that's wild. 
So much cool really stuff. Cool stuff in here. I don't even know what to play. <laughs> it's awestruck by the history in here. Uh, and Showcase it's KR. Bicentennial era, something like that. That's a... Michael Smith. Michael Smith is sending sending stuff to the, the group. Our to group chat. <laughs> no, we've got a group chat that we use for oh, okay. Saturday night. Michael Smith just sent something. What's up, Captain? Well, we're not live. Know, we're, I'm just filming this. I know, but she'll, she'll see it later. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look at that Gibson with that, that bridge, that natural one. This? Yeah, right behind you. Look at that bridge. Oh, that yeah. That weird one. Yeah, that's wild, man. That is so cool. Never seen a bridge like that before. Le Grand, Le Grand Gibson. That's cool. And look, it's got a flying, flying pot in the uh, pit guard with that neck. And I bet you have a, well, who knows? It might or it might not have pigs that pick up under the bridge, but it definitely has one under the neck there. That looks cool. That's, that's a nice, damn, it's almost 12 grand. Yeah, I get that one too. Yeah, right? Well, that one is also really cool. That 73. That one's cool. I'd probably get something like that. That's really cool. That must have a pizza pickup in it. Pizza pickup. Mmm, <laughs> pizza. The pizza pickup. <laughs> so hungry. The Howard Roberts. Guitar Showcase. Since 1965, they've been here. They've been here forever. It was one year before I was born. Man. Yeah. That's a cool picture up there, too. Look, you got Robert Cray, Eric Clapton, Steve Marie Vaughn, and that must be Jimmy Vaughn right next to him, right? Mm hmm. You know what I like to ask them too, if they're gonna sell any of the artwork or any of the things that are up in here, if they're gonna sell any of that stuff. Cause that would be cool to get too. Look at that Fender lunchbox. Well, you can buy those now too, right? Those lunchbox. Probably. Lunchboxes. Look at that, there's like a, a sandwich sitting there. Right, there's like a How much is a that burger? How, how much, much is, is a burger? cheeseburger? I'm hungry. <laughs> well, I'll buy you lunch after this time. Do you, do, you, do you have to be somewhere? No, not till about two o'clock. Then I'm doing a show with this guy, uh, oh. Will the Dreamer. We're doing a we're co-hosting. He invited me to co-host with him. Oh, you're gonna go to his house? No, he's in LA. <laughs> we're just gonna do it on the internet. <laughs> Where's my whistle button? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm gonna stop. Well, how did it go when it started?